Disney Dreamlight Valley just gave us an additional surprise, this time in the form of the Dreamlight Park Community Challenge. This is a community-focused event in which you have to reach certain milestones, and when we do, free items are sent to the mailboxes of all players who play Disney Dreamlight Valley. If you were around before the drop of early access, you may remember the pre-order and wishlist community challenge that we had. This operates very similarly to that, but I think this is the first community challenge we've had since the drop of early access, which is so exciting. As the name suggests, this community challenge focuses around the Disney Park star path that we have. To participate in this challenge, players should create their own Disney Park within the valley, which are called Dreamlight Parks, to contribute to the item count that we need to reach to unlock these rewards. There are five different things that make a Dreamlight Park a Dreamlight Park, and those are that it's amusing, that it's clean, that it's green, that it's stylish, and that it's poppin'. These things correlate to the five tiers of the Dreamlight Park Community Challenge. So starting with poppin', to make sure that your park is poppin', you have to have balloons. The eligible item for this category is the Magical Balloon Bundle. And once 300,000 of these are placed, all players will receive a crafted balloon decor pack in their mailbox. Moving on to having a clean park, the eligible items for this are rusted trash cans and magical recyclers. Once 350,000 of these items are placed, all players will receive a crafted road and fencing pack in their mailbox. You also need your park to be green. So the eligible items for this are the Dreamlight Figment Topiary and the Jubilant Topiary. Once 400,000 of these items are placed by Dreamlight Valley players, all players will receive a flower pack in their mailbox. I'm assuming this flower pack means we're just going to get a bunch of different flowers from around the valley. And honestly, with all of the balloon arches that we've been crafting lately, and all of the flower baskets that Wally's been wanting, I'm honestly really excited to receive this item. Beyond these things, you also need your park to be stylish. The eligible items for this category are the Train Conductor Goofy Dream Style and the Safari Donald Duck Dream Style from the Disney Park Star Path. So if you haven't unlocked those yet, get to grinding those Star Path tasks and make sure that you have Donald Duck and Goofy looking like their most ideal Disney Park selves. Once 450,000 of these Dream Styles are unlocked by players, all players will receive an Iron and Dark Wood pack. Now listen, we all know iron grinding. I've personally kind of come to terms with it. I don't mind it that much, but dark wood grinding. Now that's my nemesis. So I can't wait to get more dark wood just for free in my mailbox. Lastly, you may have all those things. Your park may be poppin'. It may be clean. It may be green. It may be stylish. But is it amusing? Make sure your park has fun things to do by placing the following eligible items. The Dumbo, the flying elephant attraction, the Mad Tea Party attraction, and the Pixar Pal Around attraction. Once 600,000 of these items are placed, all players will receive a Mystery Disney Parks item. Pause for excitement. What is this Mystery Disney Parks item? I can't wait to see it. I personally hope it's another attraction. I think these items are so beautifully done. And even though they're giant and I'm struggling to find space for them in my valley, I will happily welcome another one. Does anyone have any ideas about what this Mystery Disney Parks item is? Let me know in the comments below for sure. So that is an overview of the goals that we need to reach and the rewards that we get for this challenge, but that's not it. There's a limited time code to get you an additional free magical recycler. So go into your game, type in Dreamlight Park, and receive a free magical recycler in your in-game mailbox. But that's not all. This challenge is going to be happening from now until May 31st. Once you finish designing your Dreamlight Park, make sure to share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter using the hashtags hashtag Dreamlight Park and hashtag Disney Dreamlight Valley for a chance to win a $500 gift card to shop Disney. All in all, this is a very exciting announcement from Disney Dreamlight Valley today. I can't wait to see all of the Dreamlight Parks that you create. Make sure to share them with me on social media as well, or in the community Discord, which you can join using the link in the description of this video. Make sure to press like if you enjoyed this video, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified when I go live playing Disney Dreamlight Valley or when I post more Disney Dreamlight Valley videos. 
I hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon.